hello students in this video we are going to discuss uh, nodal analysis it is basically one of the methods by which we can calculate unknown voltage in the circuit so in this method uh, we have to follow certain steps and there are a few basic points that uh, students must know regarding nodal analysis so the first point is it is based on KCL that is Kirchhoff's current law but what we determine out of this is a voltage it is because uh, as we very well know in a resistor these are the two terminals of the voltage so According to Ohm's law, we can say VA minus VB is equal to I into R. So, we can transform this I into VA minus VB upon R. It means, as we very well know, that current flows from higher potential to the lower potential. So, accordingly, once we are transforming current into V by R form, so we have to write higher potential minus lower potential uh, the side from where current enters is a plus and the side from where current leaves a branch will be minus so in this form uh, we are going to convert our KCL equation into a voltage equation so this is what the main step would be so there's one more point uh, we must know it is used to calculate it is used to calculate mostly unknown voltage in the circuit so how do we apply uh, this nodal analysis in the circuit so there are a few steps that we follow any question that you want to solve via nodal analysis you have to follow certain steps so let us discuss them one by one so the first step is we will assign one node as a, no a reference node so what is this reference node this reference node is node which would be taken as a common ground that is its potential would be zero volt so it would be like an electrical ground that we have to assign for one of the nodes after this the rest of the nodes would be our non-reference nodes so it is at these nodes that we have to calculate the unknown voltage so we will be assigning unknown voltages to non-reference nodes and we will be calculating voltage out of it so we can say in any general circuit in any general circuit that contains n number of nodes we would be having one reference node and we would be having n minus one non-reference nodes for any given circuit so this is what we follow first step we have to assign one node as a reference node that would be a zero volt and the rest of the nodes would be treated as a non-reference node then the third step would be we will be applying kcl at non-reference node so once we'll be applying kcl we'll be having equations in terms of current and that equation we can then transform into V by R form and finally the last step would be we'll be solving equations we'll be solving equations to find unknowns we'll be solving equations to find unknowns so these are the four steps that we need to follow for solving any given problem so let us understand this method by one of the examples so let us understand uh, this problem that is given to us uh, so the question is we have to find node voltages okay. we have to find we have to find node voltages 
So how are we going to solve it? Now we will be applying these four steps selection of a reference node, selection of non-reference nodes, then we will be applying KCL and we will be getting the unknowns. So my first step would be assigning of a reference node which is already here. So this is my zero volt. The second step is the other nodes that we are having. So this is my node number one. This is my node number one. And this is my node number two. So if we see in this particular figure, we are having two non-reference nodes. So while we have selected the reference and non-reference nodes, the next step is we have to apply KCL. But before we apply KCL, what I would be doing is I would be assigning, I would be assigning current directions to the branch containing resistors because as you can see here current direction is given here also current direction is given but for these resistors current direction is not given so what I need to do is I need to assign the direction of current randomly to it so let us see how can we do it uh, so you have to note down here one point that the assigning of current direction is arbitrary. So whatever directions you are giving, uh, that direction would be treated as correct one. So let us call this as I1, this one as I2 and this one as I3. So it is a random current direction. If you are changing your direction of current, it will not matter. So now I will write, I will write like this, apply KCL at node 1. So I am applying this third step that is applying of applying KCL and node 1 is my non-reference node. So my equation of KCL will be would be currents entering is equal to currents leaving as per the statement of KCL. So we can say 3 is equal to I1 plus I2. Now what I would be doing is I would be using this concept I would I would be changing I into V by R form implies that 3 is equal to my I1 if we see our figure I1 is here so it is between this point and this point so I would say it is equal to V1 minus 0 upon 2 similarly what is my i2 it is between this node and this node so the voltages are v1 and v2 it is v1 minus v2 upon 6 so this is my first equation so i can solve it i will multiply both sides i will multiply both sides by 6 so what I would get is 18 is equal to 3V1 plus V1 minus V2 or we can say 4V1 minus V2 is equal to 18. So this I will call as my first equation. So we have applied KCL at node number 1 currently. Now I want to apply KCL at node number 2 also. So apply KCL at node 2. So again currents entering is equal to currents leaving. So we can see from the figure over here that I2 current is entering a branch. This is entering and while as I3 and 12 ampere they are leaving a branch. So I can write so I can write I2 is equal to I3 plus 12 or again I will be changing them into V by R form I can write so what is I2 it is between V1 and V2 upon 6 is equal to 6 sorry what is your I3 it is V2 minus 0 this is V2 minus 0 upon 7 
and plus 12 ampere so let us multiply it with 42 multiply both sides by 42 which is a common uh, multiplying factor we will get 7v1 minus 7v2 is 6v2 plus 504 or we can say 7v1 minus 13v2 is 504 now these are the two equations with us what we need to simply do is we are having two equations two unknowns so we can use either the substitution method or we can use a determinant method to get the values once you will be solving them you would get v1 as minus 6 volts and v2 as minus 42 volts so you can try this uh, problem please solve it and uh, in the next video i will be showing you how can we solve this using a determinant method which is uh, the faster one so uh, i will meet you in the next video till then uh, thank you all